Hey folks, this is IOE Throwing back with more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is off to Ninja. He's in his Object 407. Yeah, 907, sorry. Uh, this is, of course, a tier 10 game on the new Polish map. Um, so, this is the Clan Wars Reward Tank. If you haven't seen them all that often, that would be why. Basically, if you're looking at this thing, just don't shoot in the turret. Um, mid mid turret ring right there or the front and you pretty much go through it wherever you want to um okay <clears throat> sorry I just got caught up bringing the uh, the chat there for a second I feel like I want oh right I do want to apologize for that there not being a game on Monday I was all set to record one Monday morning and put up for uh, Monday night and of course um or monday you know noon time which when i normally put up my games up for uh, of course work called me in early and so i didn't get to record until monday night so yeah i'm sorry for that i will try and work make sure that doesn't happen again um mostly by recording on sunday <laughs> well just gonna kind of go from there uh i am also going to be re doing some Battle Brothers again tonight. That's Wednesday night about... I'm going to start about 8 p.m.-ish. Um, and so if you want to come out and join me, that'd be really and truly appreciated. That ram kill, though, was awesome. That's the way you start... <clears throat> wow. There goes my voice. That's the way you should start a game, by the way. That was awesome. I love that. Tracks the guy so he couldn't move and then comes in from the ram. Doesn't even take a shot of damage from the guy. Only takes a little bit of ramming damage. Ooh. Going for the shot against the T sixty two A almost got him shot in return. And then he backs it just in time to not do any damage, but avoid the shot from the um the American tank. Which is all in all, this is a much better angle we taking these shots from. Because it's it's a lot less steep and so he doesn't pop up and just show where glaciers the enemy. He is, uh, he's giving them shots that they can't do much with. This Patton, though, apparently is just determined to let us shoot him. Ooh, I thought for a second that shot went into the VK. It did not. The second shot still went into the Patton. Gun depression on this tank isn't amazing, but it's good enough that he can work this ridge line. He may not be able to shoot the E75, but these, these two huddle behind this building, they're his. <laughs> As long as they're going to continue to sit there and shoot at his impenetrable turret, yeah, he's going to keep doing damage to them. If they want to damage his turret from here, there is only one real place, and that's this is this below. Cool. Um, th this one shot is pretty close to it, obviously. Um, but that's about it. I mean, from this, I guess you could pen this cupola, but obviously. They've tried twice already and still failed. It's not that easy to take to do damage against this thing unless you're firing high, high explosive. And even then, like, I mean, why? <laughs> I don't know what this patent thinks he's going to do. Um, I guess he figures that eventually a shot will go in. But really all it's doing is <laughs> letting Ninja farm some damage off of him. Oh, this is the first time Ninja has not penned him and just tracked him in place. But of course, he uses that damage, that uh, advantage, and kills the poor guy. Now we're looking for the E75, who's obviously looking for him. But the E75 either flubs the shot, or is still reloading or something, and and gives us a clean shot. Why is this VK just so determined to give us the side of his tank? I don't know, but that is most of our enemies down here, except for the Centurion, who manages to dodge just in time to bounce the shot that should have tracked him in place. Oh, we forgot about the T-62A. I completely forgot about him. I actually thought he was dead already. He's not. He's still alive and kicking. Okay, well, I'm just going to run over here and start harassing this guy. Unfortunately, the T-62A is on the ball. And gets a nice shot off before we come around the corner. 
now hopefully our 50 TP can push up. Or we can just start farming guys that are way down there, of course. He's just backing outside on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it didn't work the first time. I'm sure it'll work the second time. <laughs> 50 TP has crossed the river? And is brawling with the T-62A instead of just... Okay, whatever. I mean, you know. Well, T-62A died, right? I mean, that's part of... Partly what you want. I just It's a weird way for it to happen. But it's fine. Oh, M103 turret. I mean, these guys just seem to be completely... Well, A, they're surrounded. But B, just free farm everywhere in sight. Um, and so that's just what Ninja's doing. He's just sitting here and farming these guys. It's a little weird that he's still lit. The tank has good camo on it. Um, the E4 or maybe... Uh, it must be the E4 over there has either Binox or um, code optics on. Or there's a scout tank somewhere nearby, but I don't think so. We can see most of their tanks. We can't see the standard B though. So it's possible the standard B is actually spotting us right now. Um, that's actually quite possible. Though, if he wants to win this game, that standard B needs to fire on us. Ooh, nice shot on the M103. It was obviously aim, aim for the mouse, but the fact that it missed and just tracks the M103 in like the most awkward position possible is really quite nice. <laughs> Well, now it's time to move up, move up. We're gonna speed this up a little bit because why not? Um, ooh, conquerors in sight and not paying attention. And did you miss? How did you miss a stationary conqueror? I I don't think you tagged him at all. You didn't. <laughs> Two shots on a stationary conqueror, and neither of them tag him. Well, we found the last two heavy enemies. There's still a standard B over here somewhere, but we don't know where. Holy, I didn't realize you could go over the top like that. <laughs> As the E4 had the best shot on us all night. Where did he shoot? I think that's him dinging off the, the side of the door. All he had to do... Because, of course, his gun is above us, right? Um, and if you can get the look down on this tank, you just have to fire into the engine deck or the top of this turret. And that's all he had to do. Is just point his gun down and fire. And that would have been us dead. But instead, he tries to aim for the turret ring or just point in the center of the turret. And he dings it off with the bottom corner. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate for him. The moss looks like it's about to die. Oh, the standard bee is way over there. I can't help but wonder if he reloaded and moved there. Or, um, or if that's where he's been camping this entire game. It's a weird place to be camping. I guess you can fire down tracks that the guy's advancing, but of course, that's not where our biggest push came from. But, uh, oh well. <laughs> Stare and Beast still trying to get damage in, which is obviously good, but unfortunately for him, that first shot binked off of us. The second shot does connect solidly. He's going to need to kill his leaves one more time, but, well, the T-10 has other ideas. And T-10 just comes rushing in. Now he's switched targets, and the 50 TP just about killed us. What is that shot impact? It must be under the uh, the blanket in the turret ring. Or... Nope, that's it. Oops, that's the wrong button. That's it right there. Got absorbed by spaced armor. I mean, albeit like a tiny fraction of spaced armor. But it must have... Um, the spaced armor must have taken enough off of it, the penetration that it just tinked off the... <laughs> Talking about close calls. 50 TP almost killing us. He could platoon up with the T10 and get themselves a brothers in arms. Um, let's go ahead and see if he did that. Ace tanker, hand of God, spotter, bruiser, do us, fire for fact, 
Fighter and Shellproof. Anytime you can earn six bonds, it's been a good game. The fact that he managed to earn six bonds in a tank that cost him a bunch of bonds to buy, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but it is a nice return on your investment, right? Confederate, Steel Wall, and High Caliber Awards. Um, I didn't count, but I, did, <laughs> I haven't had to zoom out this much in a while, so this might be most of the enemy team. Uh, though that guy for certain was on our team. And it's quite possible this is what our team do now that I think about it. So... <laughs> 7,000 damage. 1,400 base experience. And he damaged 11 vehicles, destroyed 5. I was hoping he would have damaged or spotted... Wait. Did he spot damage on anybody? He didn't shoot, er, yeah, yeah. He didn't get spying damage on anybody, he didn't shoot. Oh, it's a bit sad. I was hoping that maybe he could have, like, spotted uh, most of the team and then shot the rest and, like, he could have got 15 out of 15. But no, that's not how it happened. Still a good game. Thank you so much for saying this in, Ninja. It was a joy to watch. Um, and I can't wait to see your next game. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This IOE throughout.